Where is my microphone? Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to model real world models in Unity, in my case Unity. So, what do we have here? So before we go to this video, I'm gonna give you a little warnings about the copyright. So, in this video I'm gonna be using an image of satellite, like imagery from Google. It is copyrighted by Google and it belongs to Google, but I'm not so but I'm not putting this into my product, so I don't violate any copyright law and you should not also violate any copyright law. Models that are in the video they belong to some random people, they don't belong to Google, so it's okay. So this image is only a drop image, it's a terrain from Google, like satellite image. So I'm using this only to uh, look at it and to analyze my model. So what I mean when I say that? I mean that I have this image like uh, on the very bottom of the world and I have here my actual road and sidewalks. And I'm checking whether it's okay about the elevation you see that. And I'm moving up and down using Pro Builder tool, which is pretty good. So the road is very blocky just for that, you know, to adjust it in a very easy way. Okay, it's about road, about sidewalks, about now models. You know, I told you about models, I told you about copyright. So yeah, that is how it works. Pretty, pretty easy way for development. And about terrain. So you can see that uh, I'm using here actual uh, terrain from Google, which is not actually super accurate. And this is the biggest problem. And that's why I have this wonderful real life Google Street View in. Like, you know, so it helps a lot. It helps a lot. So I'm just like looking at this building, it's like, you know, all right, maybe, maybe the elevation here is not right. So, you know, it cannot be this stride, like super stride. It should be a little bit like elevated here. And I see that, yeah, actually, it, it's pretty low elevation here and it's pretty so it's getting you see the like you see like one two three steps uh and then two steps then one step and then zero step which means that it goes up which means that you know a, a terrain is going up and up from this point to that point so it's like a simple logic so you should always look at some things that are like in a very hidden area. So for instance, do not look at the sidewalk. The you know, sidewalk here looks like it's like striped. But you know the building is also striped. But if you see uh, on these stairs here, you realize that all oh, right, maybe there is something with the terrain here. See like one, two, three steps, two steps, then one step there is like no more steps, which means that it goes like up there. So I took that into consideration and I just elevated the terrain like here. I uh, like mesh, mesh of terrain. And this is like actual terrain from, I mean, not from Google, but you know, from Bing. Because you know, to take a uh, terrain from Google is pretty, pretty hard because. I use the render doc application, I use the Reaper, and you know, the model is kind of good, but anyway, it's not accurate. So, do not trust terrain tools if you want to build a real terrain. The only one tool that you can trust it is Bosses, it is Google Street View, because they are actually taken from real life, from perspective, from you know, from whatsoever. Street view and photos. Number one and number two, or maybe like opposite, like number one and number two, it is satellite imagery. Satellite imagery for scale. So you can see I have like 
you so good for scale. Right, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you later. We're next video about something very interesting. Maybe not really interesting. Bye bye.